So, I'm finally doing it, looking at the Supreme preview. I'm not going to look at the lookbook, I couldn't care about the pieces that they're putting together, I just am looking at the preview. It's a little bit late, I'm filming this on the 9th of September. When it will go up, I don't know. Shout out to Matthias Rasmussen for editing this for me. Probably have like pictures of the products come up somewhere here or maybe even here. Uh, Supreme, so full winter collection, they do that once every year in the full winter. And they show you this preview. Now we've had three online drops since then, so some of it has come out. Uh, if you've watched some of my other videos, those were like honest first reactions. Now this isn't a first reaction, I've looked at this twice, but I haven't looked at it in a while, so it should make an okay video. People have been asking for it. I couldn't do it when it uh, first come out because I was going to London in like two days. I actually went to the first in-store drop but I wasn't queuing in that and I didn't really like anything that came out. So let's just get into it I guess. Supreme Shot leather A2 flight jacket, yeah, cool, not for me, retail will be like 800, they do s sort of shop items all the time. Arc logo N3B Parker, see I really like this but I don't like that bright orange sort of inside it, what does it say, removable forks fur trim, oh the black one is actually black inside and I I don't have a Supreme coat, so I would like to buy that, but how much is it going to be? Do you know what's funny? Like People keep saying, oh, Supreme's dying, Supreme's dying. It's like the most hyped it's ever been, and I am more interested in it than ever have been before. I don't buy it every week. I wish I could buy it every week. Logo tape puffy jacket. Shit, especially in red. It literally looks like someone's just put a load of mini box logo stickers across it. Uh, the Cherub Trucker Jacket. I think this has already come out. It's a cool idea, but not for me. And the pants as well, like, a bit weird. Denim Harrington. Mm, don't care about anything like that. Uh, Satin Wester shirt. Who's going to wear that? Spider web shirt. Mm, brush floral shirt. So, <laughs> some of them I just have nothing to say about. Polartec fleece zip-up shirt. Yeah, it's okay. Flannel shirt, it's okay. Like, all this these shirts are okay, but I wouldn't. Herring bone denim shirt. Now that's quite nice. Oxford shirt. I don't really like the crown on it though. I, like, I prefer it when it has just a little Supreme tag on the pocket, kind of like the pocket tees do. I do want to get a Supreme shirt, but I hate these people that are like, oh yeah, dress smart in shirts, and they fucking just wearing some new look trash. I'm not into it. Court Cards Hooded Leather Jacket. Lambskin leather with embroidered pattern and satin lining. Yeah, it's cool. Especially in black. Mm, and my laptop wants to update. No. <laughs> uh, we're like a fifth through. But the thing is, what I love most about Supreme is the collaborations that they do. They collaborate with some really weird brands, some really clever companies. And they never, ever really show that on the previews. Quilted nylon tanker jacket. Nope. Mmm, I hate these things that say Supreme USA on the back. Colour block arc logo hooded sweatshirt, I love this. I really do. I think that's so cool. I don't know what colour though. Maybe the purple and the black. Sumo hooded sweatshirt, that came out the other day, that's actually quite cool. And the spider web hooded sweatshirt, I love. But their hoodies are always so much money. I say that while like wearing Yeezys and stuff, but you know what I mean. I think the spider web hooded one I would definitely get in purple. I think it's already come out though. Embroidered outline hooded sweatshirt. You can't even really see that, but that's quite cool. I do really like the hoodies this year. Until I see the fuck you up mum and dad hoodie. No, please, no. S logo crew neck dead. So dead, okay. The Chrome Classic logo. When I first saw this, I thought I need it. I'll sell my room to get this. But then I middleman one and the quality, it's like stuck on. It looks a bit... Weird. Box logo hooded sweatshirt, yeah. Peach colour is cool. The sort of green colour is cool. I've already got a grey and a navy. I quite like the black on black, but Lord knows I am not getting one of them. They will resell for like 
400 pounds probably. Reverse fleece hooded sweatshirt, I like this. I really like the supreme like gothic key writing. They've done that on a couple of things this season. Metallic arc hooded sweatshirt, I like that. Reversible hooded puffy jacket, fuck off. Oh, the purple and the navy is nice, but this, like, silver one looks like NASA. Oh, and they've got it in black and green as well. Yeah. Don't get the silver one, please. Silver and red, I couldn't think of anything worse. Colour block quilted jacket. Mm hmm Shit. I don't like quilted. Not on jackets, anyway. The black and white one's alright. See, I find with a lot of these, like, when it says block colours, so you'll have, like, two designs that are completely block colours, and then you'll get one that is just like triple black or something and it looks a lot nicer uh work vest sherpa fleece no vests need to die it's vests vests oh, i can't say that properly supreme playboy work jacket that's quite cool but i don't like playboy so why would i buy a playboy supreme item if that makes sense vertical zip up long sleeve polo i think adam rose ordered that the day it come out and he's still waiting for it. <laughs> By the time this video comes out, he might have it. Paisley long sleeve polo, I like that. But I don't really like polo shirts. They remind me of my youth, wearing like a Fred Perry polo or something. Gold striped turtleneck, please no. See, a lot of this I'm just like, yeah, it's okay, but I wouldn't wear it. Striped velour, I wouldn't wear it. It's all right, it's not good, it's not shit. Velour crew neck, I quite like that. Wanna be Kanye or something. Seems to be quite a lot of plain stuff. Supreme shot Sherling Bomber. It's okay. Probably costs like what a grand? Script varsity puffy jacket. No. Okay. Is it not gonna load? Okay. But see the black one is the best. Why is this with so many Supreme items? Old English coaches jacket. Yeah, this is what I was referring to earlier when I said this sort of gothic y writing. This has got it on the back. I do like it. I I only like the black version though. Black with short pile line and tackle twill logo on the back. I like the twill logos. I got a twill logo item like over there. Astronaut puffy jacket, this is quite cool. I mean, not for me, but some people. See, if you look at the back, so on the navy, yeah, you've got the, the print is like completely different to the back. And then on the red, the same, but on the black, the print is the same sort of color. I like it. Rose Sherpa. Yep, reversible. We see that the other day. Don't know if you guys watch my daily vlogs. Uh, shadow played wall overcoat. They always do something like this, and one person buys it and puts a fit pick up, and they're like, "Yeah, this is the best thing." I don't. I can't deal with these really long coats. Camo sweater. <laughs> Orange and black. Wasn't that like a modern warfare color? If you got a certain amount of headshot. Okay, we're halfway through the lookbook now. 3M reflective repeat taped seam jacket. I see someone wearing this and the trousers together, and I did not like the look of it. Once again, the black one's the best. Split rugby. The box logo on the back is so awful. Baseball warm up top. If no one should buy this. Velour baseball top, no one should buy that. It's got a V neck as well, isn't it? If any other brand did a V neck, everyone would be ripping it. The let's fuck tea, okay. Uh, she's holding these rabbits, or bunnies, whatever. And it looks like she's insinuating bestiality, but obviously it means let's fuck like rabbit. Screw tea. The screw tea is a really cool concept, because on the back it says, Supreme 2016, promotional use only, not for resale. And obviously people resell it. War report tea, people loved that. They fuck you up your mum and dad, yep, yep, yep. The, t the teas this season, I don't like them, but they'll probably send an email out like, hey, we're releasing this other five t-shirts that we never showed you. Do you know what? I really don't like this season. It's not even that I dislike it, but I don't like it. So whenever I make these videos, people just laugh at how I pronounce things because I don't know how to pronounce certain material. Patchwork anorak. Yeah. Yeah. Pant. Okay. It's... It's all right, it's a bit too OTT for me. Football tops, I really don't like them, although there was a soccer top a couple years ago or seasons ago that I quite like. Yes, the twill pullover. I'm getting this thing tomorrow as a birthday present, actually. By the time you watch this, it will have been my birthday. The peach, people love. I've got the navy. Do you know, if you ask me my favorite item, I wouldn't even know. Nothing really stands out. Supreme Tom and Jerry's work shirt. 
please make a t-shirt with Tom and Jerry on. Like, even if it's like a cut and sew tee, kind of similar to Pink Panther. Yeah, some of the beanies are okay. Oh, they got a Tom and Jerry one. It's very hard to appreciate hats when you don't wear them. We are on the last sixth of the preview. Okay, so the 3M Reflective Repeat Backpack. I actually would like to buy this in black. I don't know what retail is, 130 The other colours are okay. I don't like red. And then the shoulder bag, that's the one that I called the shotter bag earlier because people sell drugs through them. Suede S logo. See, the S logo is much better on the hats. I would like to buy a pair of Supreme jeans. Some of them look cool. I quite like the rigid slim jeans. I was going to buy a pair before. Spiderweb sweatpants. Imagine me matching spiderweb trousers and hoodie. Purple. Supreme B&O Play by Bang and Olufsen portable speaker. Yeah, they're cool. But what, they're 300? Supreme always collaborates with like luxury brands on accessories so they make the tiniest thing unbuyable because the retail will just be ridiculous. Seahorse gold pendant. If I had like 250 pounds to waste, then I'd buy this. Is it, I think it might even be 300. Brick. Now everyone is confused. Is it gonna be an actual brick or is it gonna be like soft? Sponge. Cordless floodlight. I see someone was using this as a lamp and they didn't realise that it could actually light up the whole of England. Uh, that was my thoughts on it. Sorry if I didn't give that much. A lot of the time I just said what it was because I don't even have a thought on it. Like, it's okay. But season is a little bit disappointing, but with the rising cost of Supreme and I've got like a lot of Supreme so I don't need to buy it all the time. I've got over like 250 t-shirts, not Supreme, I've probably only got like 70 Supreme t-shirts, maybe 60. But I'm happy buying like one item a month, you know, maybe two, maybe not even every month. I'm looking forward to seeing the collaborations, I want to see like a Comme des Garçons collab, but that is usually in spring summer. I want to see some cool vans, I'm yet to own Supreme van. I would like to buy my first Supreme coat and get in the anorak, which is like more of a jacket. I always say with jackets, they're like sort of, they have a use, they have a keep you dry or, it's like a tiny layer. It's not like a coat, like a coat to me is keep you really warm. That was Supreme Fall Winter 16. I am hoping for some secret drops as well, like stuff that they never included in the preview. Just like some cool graphic tees some cool hoodies, some stuff that I can get for under £100 each. Thanks for watching this video and uh, maybe I'll do a video at the end of this season with my thoughts on it, but I didn't do one on the spring summer so I can't really promise anything.